Today's objective is dividing polynomials using long division and synthetic division. Instead of me explaining the steps that occurred here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you several examples. So I'm going to go ahead and move this up. So we're going to go ahead and write, uh, start with this process, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to write 2 n squared minus 16 n plus 19. And we're going to divide this by n minus 7. So you always start with n and you ask yourself, what do you multiply n? to get 2n squared. Of course, you definitely need a 2, so you're going to write it in front of, on top of uh, the variable n, since we started with n. And then what you're going to multiply is also n. So you're going to multiply the binomial times the monomial. So we have 2n times n is 2n squared. 2n times negative 7 gives you negative 14n and then what you're doing at every step is you're subtracting so 2n squared minus 2n squared is 0 negative 16n minus a negative 14 which that becomes positive so you have negative 2n you're going to bring down the 19 so it's plus 19 and so you're going to repeat the process over again so what do you multiply 2n or what do you multiply n to get negative 2n? Of course, you're going to multiply by minus 2. Negative 2 times n gives you negative 2n. Negative 2 times negative 7 gives you plus 14. And at every step, you are subtracting. So negative 2n minus a negative 2n, that's going to be 0. 19 minus 14 gives you 5. That's your remainder. So what you get or what what is your end product? What do you get when you have 2n squared minus 16n plus 19 divided by n minus 7? You're going to get 2n minus 2 with a remainder of 5. You have the 5 plus the 5 divided by n minus 7. So this is your final answer, or what you get after you Okay, I'm going to have to divide here. Uh, and I have, X, I have K. I have K to the third power minus. Uh, I have to have X, K squared. Hmm. Let me go back and erase this. Minus 17k plus 32. And then what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and divide by k plus 5. Now what you have to do is you're going to get your, your, your k value or your k variable. And you ask yourself, what do you multiply to k? To get k to the third and you know that it has to be k squared so k squared times k gives you k to the third power k squared times 5 gives you plus 5k squared and since we're dividing we're going to go ahead and subtract here so we have k to the third power minus k to the third power and so we have 0k squared minus 5k squared which is going to give you negative 5k squared minus 17k. So we want to figure out what do we multiply k to get negative 5k squared. So we're going to have to multiply by negative 5k. So negative 5k times k gives you negative 5k squared. Negative 5k times 5 gives you negative 25k and we're going to go ahead and subtract so we have negative 5k squared 
minus a negative 5k squared, which just gives us zero. Negative 17k minus a negative 25k, which is going to give you 8k. And then what you bring down is the 32, as we brought down the negative 17k. So what do you multiply k to get 8k? So it's going to be plus 8. So it's going to be 8k. And 8 times 5 is 40, plus 40. So we're going to subtract, and we have 8k minus 8k, which gives us 0. 32 minus 40 gives you minus 8, and that is our remainder. Remainder is negative 8. And whatever you are dividing by is what's going to be in the fraction, in the denominator. k plus 5. Divide. So example C, we have x minus 2, and we want to know if it's going to be a factor of x to the fourth minus 16. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if it is a factor, if we divide and there's no remainder, then we know that it is a factor. So we're going to go ahead and divide, but I'm going to have to somehow do it here on the right and uh, hopefully it works okay so i have i have x i have x to the fourth and remember you have to write it in a uh, standard form so it's plus zero x cubed plus zero x squared plus zero x minus 16 and and if you don't if you don't add those uh, x to the third, x to the second, x, you're going to get the wrong answer. So you need to do that, okay? Even if uh, even if you're doing synthetic division, which I'm going to teach you right now, you're still going to have to do. Uh, you're going to have to write it in standard form, and you have to make sure that uh, the coefficient is zero, and you account for x to the third and x squared, and so on. So we're going to start with x to the fourth, and you're going to ask yourself, what do we multiply x to the fourth, or what do we multiply um, x to get x to the fourth? Of course, it's going to be x to the third power, and you're going to write it right here. We have x to the third power. And then what you're going to do is you're going to multiply x to the third times x, and you know that it's x times x times x, times another x, so you have x to the fourth. Then you're going to multiply x to the third power times negative 2, so you have negative 2x cubed, right? And just like before, we're doing long division. You know the process requires us to subtract at every, at every point. So x to the fourth minus x to the fourth is 0. Now you have 0 minus a negative 2x cubed. So what you have is you have negative, uh, you have positive 2x cubed. And you do have to bring down that 0x squared. And then you repeat the process again. You ask yourself, what do you multiply x? What do you multiply x to get 2x cubed? Well, you know the answer to that is going to be, definitely it's going to be plus 2. And you know that you have to have a variable. So it's x squared. So you have 2x squared times x, which gives you uh, 2x cubed. Then you multiply 2x squared times negative 2, which gives you negative 4x squared. And remember, at every point in the process, at this point, you have to subtract. So you have 2x cubed minus 2x cubed, that's 0, and that's what you want. So you have 0 minus a negative 4x squared, so that's positive 4x squared. Now you are going to bring down the 0x. Now you ask yourself, what do you multiply x to get 4x squared? Of course, you're going to multiply plus 4x. 4x times x gives you 4x squared. 4x times negative 2 gives you negative 8x. And you're subtracting. So you have 4x squared minus 4x squared, that's 0. 0 minus a negative 8x gives you 8x. That's positive 
bring down the 16, and then you ask yourself, what do you multiply x to get 8? So it's going to be plus 8. And you know that 8 times x gives you 8x. And 8 times negative 2 gives you negative 16. And what happens here? You subtract and you have a remainder of 0. So by having a remainder of 0, that indicates that x minus 2 is a factor of x to the we're going to go ahead and divide this using synthetic division. And how do you use synthetic division? What you do is you have x plus 8. You're going to solve for x. That's going to be negative 8. And then what you're going to do is you're going to list the coefficients in standard form. So definitely you have a 1 because that is your coefficient is a 1. The next one is 3, and it, of course it's in standard form, so you have 3x, and then the last one is negative 43. And all I'm doing here is I'm dealing with the coefficients. You bring down the 1, negative 8 times 1, negative 8. 3 minus 8 is negative 5. Negative 8 times negative 5 is 40. Negative 43 plus 40 gives you negative 3. So since our highest power was a square, then when you divide x squared plus 3x minus 43, you have x minus 5. And your remainder is 3 over whatever you were dividing by. In this case, you were dividing by x plus 8. This is your remainder. I'm going to show you a different way to evaluate polynomials using synthetic division. Uh, this is called the remainder theorem. And to just very, to, to succinctly tell you what it is, is that if you input three, then that means that in the corner of your synthetic division here, it's going to be three. You're going to list the coefficients and whatever your remainder is, it's going to be P of three. So you have 1, it's x to the 4th. And you notice it jumps from x to the 4th to 2, so it's going to be a 0. And then the next one is negative 2. The next one is negative 1. And then you have 1, 22. So we're using synthetic division to figure out what is p of 3. Bring down the 1. 3 times 1 is 3. 0 plus 3, these are just co these are coefficients. These right here are coefficients, so we have 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Negative 2 plus 9 is 7. 3 times 7 is 21. Negative 1 plus 21 is 20. 3 times 20 is 60. So 122 plus 60 gives you 182. So P of 3 is equal to the remainder, which is going to be 182. Fourth minus 16.